So would that be right to say that the oneness and the easiness is right in front of uh, my eyes, but I don't, there is nobody to notice it, that's why I miss it? <coughs> in the, yeah, I think it, it's probably, um, what, what will be said here is that there is only oneness, therefore it wouldn't be right in front of your eyes, it is also your eyes. But I miss it in a way because there's nobody to notice it? Well, you miss it, uh, the, the me misses it by being aware of what is in front of its eyes. But if there is no me, and actually the idea of me is just making what is to mind, how can it make any self-conclusion of its own? Oh, there's no, no, it doesn't. Uh, when there's no me, there's no conclusion. So it could not register the oneness? No, no. And nothing but the me can register, register Sorry, the oneness? Nothing. Nothing but me is able to register Well, it, it, it registers what it believes to be the oneness, but it's not the oneness, it's a dualistic perception. But when there's no me, there's nothing that recognises oneness. So there's no way to recognise oneness? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. So, whatever I am, is I not... Well, hold on. Yeah, right. I'm trying to... Whatever you are, if you're me, thinks it recognises... Uh, whatever I know, I'm not. But there is no other possibility to register anything but myself, which is never happened. Absolutely. The only way me exists is by knowing it does. So <laughs> whatever I can notice is the versions of um, yeah. ideas. It's the me I version. Never see me. It, yes. It's the me version of reality, which is dualistic. When that collapses, there's nothing that knows. Nothing knows, or it's what I know is not mine? No, because you're back to me. What you know is not your, more yours is a story than me, comes out of me. <laughs> there isn't something, there, there isn't something that knows it doesn't know. It just is what is. When you come back into the me, there's a knowing or an awareness or a consciousness of what is, and that's um, an illusion. It's dualistic. Directly me arises, everything is split into two. Boom! Or apparently, obviously it isn't because it, but it's split, everything is split into two. Directly me arises, everything is a part. Me and the world. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the one you think is there isn't, isn't the one that is, because you can't know the one. Me can't know one, because it splits everything into two. You see, the essence of me is to, it can only exist in a, in a, a dualistic reality. How can it think itself? How can it? Think <laughs> itself. Can a thought Very think easily. itself? <laughs> Me, to gather, put me together thinks. the information, somebody does that. No, well, when a thought arises, me is aware of it. And makes it its own. Absolutely. So there is a thought. Therefore, there isn't anything. Everything is only nothing appearing as what it is. Thought is nothing appearing as a thought. It is real and unreal. <laughs> For the, me, it seems to be real because I'm real. <laughs> I'm real, my thought is real. Would it still be real without me? No, it would be real and unreal. But not for anything. There is now, with no me, nothing that knows that this is real and unreal. It just is real and unreal. If something knew it was real and unreal, it would be standing apart from it to know it. Or there would be somebody that would compare what's real and what's not real. This yeah, but you're back, in, uh, you're back in the story now. Yeah.
comparison is a story. There's nothing wrong with stories, mm -hmm. but they are nothing appearing as a story. The problem for me is that me thinks they are real and absolutely terribly important, especially if they're about me. <laughs> I thought my, my story was probably more important than anybody else's in the world. Much more interesting and special. You know that feeling? It's not about the frequency. It's not a frequency. The frequency. 
No, no, no. <laughs> Frequency. No, yeah. <laughs> mind, but it's a mind fuck. <laughs> 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 and uh, the, the line between knowing and not knowing is uh, something like a kiss. The line between knowing and not knowing is the difference between separation and wholeness. That which knows is separate, that which is everything is unknown.